Doghouse Donnie back here at you again. I'm kind of feeling like I gotta step in and defend, not defend, but defend my friend Butch Otter. I've been hearing a lot of crap about Butch lately, that just ain't true. Okay? You know, you got Mr. Boo Jack, Mr. Boo Jack. You know, I want to debate, I want to debate, you know. As if that's what people want to hear. They want to hear debate. They want to hear ideas. They want to hear talking about the issue. I'll tell you what Idaho wants to hear about. They want to hear about a governor that can multitask. Butch Otter, he's driving down the road. Minding his own business. He's got a trophy in his seat from a fancy pants contest that proves that we got the governor with the nicest butt in the nation. He's driving along, <clears throat> and some overzealous young police officer feels like he has a need to pull over Butch because Butch is kind of choosing between the lanes he wants to drive in, which is a, is a real leader he ought to have the ability to do. This is the impressive part. Butch, although overwhelmed, with that chew he put in his mouth that was soaked in Jack Daniels, most of us couldn't handle it for five seconds. Butch could just, he could dance with the chew in his mouth and do it all at the same time. And on top of that, he could drive down the road with that chew in his mouth. And then, according to the police, according to his own statements, which is proof, Butch said, I reached over to grab my cowboy hat. Okay? I want you to go out and drink a lot. And then drive down the road and try to grab your cowboy hat. Okay? It's amazing nobody was killed. You wouldn't have made it five feet. He gets his cowboy hat back on and he swerves around because he's battling those demons of alcohol. Because Butch, he's he's just a fighter, you know, and those battles, those demons, those alcohol is coming at him left and right like crazy. He gets pulled over. And and they arrest him. <laughs> they arrested Butch. It's the most awful things that ever happened in history. It's hard for me to even talk about. As you can tell, I tear up. I get really emotional about this. And then Butch, he fought hard. He lied as best he could, like any honorable man would. You know, he was drunk. Hell yeah, he was drunk. We've all been drunk before. We should be voting for our fellow drunks. But not only that, he was brave enough to lie about it in a court of law. Then when he got caught, he apologized. So, what more could you possibly want in a governor? So when I hear all this talk about, oh, he said he was starting an investigation into the prison scandal, and he really wasn't. Uh, hello, multitasking. <laughs> He can drive down the road and reach for his hat and swerve and not kill anybody and do all that at the same time. And you're telling me that Butch ain't investigating? You don't know if he's investigating or not. He's one of those kind of guys you can look at and he could be talking about whatever it is. You know, the glory of the state of Idaho or whatever. And in his mind, deep down inside, he's researching. He's investigating. He's going to get to the bottom of the scandal. So on November the 5th, unless you hate, I don't know, God and apple pie and Idaho, you'll vote for Butch. I really enjoyed this chat we had, and I can hardly even imagine anybody at this point, especially after seeing this ad, being stupid enough to vote against Butch Otter, okay? And, uh, you know... Harley Brown, I think we're getting him on board as well. Uh, this thing's in the, it's in the pocket, man. It's over with. It's done with. All right. So I look forward to seeing you out there on November the 5th, sporting Butch Otter, okay? You all have a real good night. Butch Otter.